does the fox say? Sorry, guys. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. All true foxes belong to the genus Vulpes. And yes, that's where Vulpix gets its name. They have flatter skulls and that long nose that distinguish them from dogs, coyotes, and wolves. The distinctive fox tail is called a brush, which is an apt description of it. They use that bushy tail for balance, like cats do, but they also wrap themselves up in it to keep warm. This is so cute! Red foxes are pretty big, about the size of a small to medium-sized dog. But fennec foxes, found in North Africa, are teeny, only about two pounds, with giant ears. So adorable. Okay, yeah, that was a baby fennec fox, so it's cheating, but still, so adorable. Foxes in general are super appealing to humans, which is why some people have them as pets. Not wild ones, those ones will piss everywhere, but domesticated ones. Thanks to some very weird experiments in Russia that started over 50 years ago, humanity now has a domesticated silver fox. It's the same species as the red fox, good old vulpes vulpes, but it looks different and its behavior is more dog-like than fox-like. The Russian scientists were studying how genetics affect behavior and wanted to see if selective breeding would result in tamer foxes as a model for how domestic dogs arose from their close cousins, the wolf. By breeding generations of foxes that were less aggressive and more tolerant of humans, they ended up with a sort of proto-dog fox, which is more submissive, less aggressive, and that likes spending time with people. Thanks to the funding difficulties with the long-term project, they started selling these little silver foxes as pets. Which, if you happen to be or know a breeder, I kinda want one, let me know in the comments. You may know this from Downton Abbey, but aside from being raised for their fur, foxes were very regularly hunted using hounds in Britain for their fur as much as for sport. Despite all that hunting, foxes are not endangered. They are in fact the most widely distributed carnivore, ranging from the Arctic tundra down to Central America. They eat just about anything, and they have a well-deserved reputation for being smart. That cunning and clever nature has been known for a long time. In medieval literature, a character named Reynard the Fox was often used to portray the triumph of brains over brawn. Farmers often want foxes exterminated to save their lambs, chickens, whatever. However, removing the foxes means that there will be a lot more rabbits, which can do way more crop damage than foxes would do to the livestock. Moral of the story? Nature keeps a delicate balance. Best left alone. What animals should I check out next? Let me know in the comments! And be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. For more on the rehabilitation of foxes, be sure to check out City Wildlife Rescue. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure to go check them out and donate if you can. Thanks for watching!